May is considered National Moving Month, and if you're getting Alexa to help you buy or sell a home, you might need someone to help you get your stuff. Before you book someone, we're helping make sure you don't get scammed. Mm. Kristen Johnson, the Director of Communications for the Better Business Bureau, is here with us at the top three tips to avoid. Hi, Kristen. Hi, thanks for having me back. Good to I see you. Uh, was talking to Kristen during the break and uh, Nicole, and we were discussing the fact that I got one price when I moved, and by the time I got to my house, it was a different price. You should always be prepared to pay 10% over the estimate, but no more than that. That is a federal law. And that estimate has to be in writing? It should be in writing. If it's not in writing, then you may have a little bit of difficulty. That's a red flag if they won't put it in writing. Right, exactly. And you don't want to just get a guesstimate over the phone. You want them to come to your home and give you a real concrete estimate in writing. Well, what if uh, they took the estimate, they say they have it, and you don't physically have it when they show up? Is it, you know, have them send it to you, and then could you kind of go back with you, that estimate? You should have it with you, and, I mean, okay. just to be on the safe side. Right. Yeah, keep that with you. Yeah. Do everything you can yourself to protect yourself. Right. How big are the scams involved in the moving industry? So between now and August, we're going to see the most scams, because that's when people Get do the most go. moving. Right. We've got college grads moving on in their own families who want to move before the school year starts. Oh. Of course, right. good weather to move. No one mm -hmm. wants to move in the snow. Nope. So we see 41% of our inquiries and the majority of our complaints against moving companies during these next few months. What are some of the most common complaints? So one is that people will pay a deposit and then the movers don't show up. <laughs> but you can uh. easily avoid that by not paying that deposit because any reputable mover will not require you to pay a deposit. They won't ask for any money down. They won't ask you to pay anything until your belongings are delivered and That's off good the truck. to know. Wow. It's a red flag if you're asked to pay more than 10%. Okay, that's a really good, uh, this we just discussed this, movers charge more after loading. Yeah, so they, so they get to your house, they put everything on the truck, and then they say, you know what, your load is over what we estimated. You have to pay more. And oftentimes it's more than double the original oh. estimate. And that's where it comes in. You know, you're kind of in a rock and a hard place right. because your stuff, is, your on the stuff truck. is on the truck. So you're what not do you gonna do? have them take it off at that point. So you have to avoid it in the first place by, again, having them come and give you a written estimate, ask about any additional charges beyond the weight of your items, and, and make sure you get multiple quotes. So if someone seems to be lowballing you, Everyone else is at a different rate. You think, okay, maybe this one, it, it sticks out. It's, it would be nice to save that much money, but that kind of gives you an idea of who you should go with. And of course, do your research. Yeah. Absolutely. And in the end, you know, when you're trying to save that money, you may not actually be saving that. You well, may be paying more, right? Exactly, more than double the original estimate. That is the most common scam that we oh. hear about. The uh, better, uh, forgive me, Kristen, I've never really called the Better Business Bureau. Can I call you and get recommended? You can call, but you can also go online. Go to BBB.org. You know, we spend so much time trying to figure out where we want to move, what house we want to buy or apartment we want to rent, because that's the fun part of, of course, moving, sure. right? We don't spend as much time researching movers. But think about it. You are putting your prized possessions, all of your belongings, in the hands of a stranger. Yep. Mm -hmm. You need to take a little bit of time to do some research. So go to BBB.org, look at the reviews, look at the complaints and look at how these companies handle those complaints. Would you be satisfied? Right. And look for that BBB seal because it's a sign of a better business. And you can find all of that information at BBB.org. Well, that's terrific. Well, I'm not moving anytime soon, but if I do, I'm calling you. <laughs> yeah, if you could only find a house, right? Exa exactly. <laughs> find a house exactly. to move into. It's incredible. <laughs> oh, thank you so much again, Kristen. Always such a, a so much useful knowledge and tips that's hopefully going to help some of you out there who are watching today. Hopefully we helped. And if you feel like you're being scammed, if you feel like your items are being held hostage and they're trying to get money from you, call the police. Oh, okay. call the police. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Kristen. You're welcome.